Prince Edward and his wife Sophie Wessex visited schools for Sri Lanka's deaf and blind today as part of a five-day tour of the country. The royals visited the schools near the capital Colombo as they marked the country's 70th year of independence from Britain. They were acting as representatives for the Queen during the anniversary. The visit to the Salon School for the Deaf and Blind, near Colombo's city centre, marked day three of their five-day trip. The prince was dressed in a slick grey suit with a stylish white fedora to help fight off the sun. Sophie, on the other hand, was dressed in an elegant and airy white dress, with a belt across her waist completing a classy look. The prince looked relaxed while Sophie was resplendent in her. Uh, the photos showed the prince cutting a red ribbon with the dignified Sophie watching on serenely. The royals were surrounded by a flock of eager locals and could be seen smiling and chatting with the schoolchildren. The prince watched on as some of the schoolchildren played chess and he even had a ceremonial wreath draped around his neck as part of an adoring reception. Earlier in the week, the royals were snapped enjoying a tour of the Paradinia Royal Botanical Garden in Kandy, in the south of the tropical country. On that Thursday, a smiling Sophie, 53, kept Colin a long-sleeved white top to take in the scenery. Their trip coincided with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's high-profile tour to Sweden and Norway, which will drew to a close on Friday. On day one of a five-day trip, Prince Edward and Sophie sat in a golf buggy for a tour of the picturesque surroundings in Candy. Edward was dapper in a suit and tie, while Sophie wore a long-sleeved shirt and linen trousers. For Sophie, the trip comes hot on the heels of her solo visit to Bangladesh at the end of 2017. While there, she met with the crew of the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital, paid a visit to a war memorial, and chatted to locals in the remote Bangladeshi village of Barazal. Thank you for watching.